Hello, hello. Tonight we are making a hearty slow cooker beef stew for dinner, and I thought I would share our family's favorite recipe with you. This recipe is super simple, but has loads of flavor and a great texture. So let's get this stew going. We're starting off with a two pound beef roast, which I have cut up into approximately one inch chunks. And we'll season it well with some salt and pepper. And we'll give that a quick stir to coat the meat with those seasonings. And then we will add two tablespoons of cornstarch. We find the cornstarch really helps to give the meat a fantastic texture. And then we're just gonna stir that around to fully coat our meat. So now we'll heat a skillet over a medium high heat with two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And when that's nice and hot, we're going to brown our meat. I'm using a cast iron skillet. I really like how it browns the meat quickly, but if you don't have one, you can absolutely use a regular frying pan. And we're not looking to cook the meat all the way through. We're just looking to get some good color on the outside of those chunks. All right, this is looking good. We are going to add our meat into our slow cooker and return our skillet to the stovetop. Now we're going to add one extra large onion, which we've cut into large chunks, and we're just going to let this onion develop some nice color and flavor as well. We like to leave our veggies in nice big rustic chunks for our stew, but you can cut yours really however you like. I do love slow cooker recipes that don't require any pre-cooking on the stovetop. However, sometimes it really is worth your while to just spend those couple extra minutes developing those flavors. So our onions are looking good. They're starting to get a little bit of color on them. So we are now going to add into them one tablespoon of minced garlic and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And we're gonna stir this around and cook it for just one minute more. We don't wanna burn that garlic or the flour. So that cornstarch we added before is really going to give our meat a nice texture, but this flour is what's going to give our broth a great texture as well. So I really like to use both. And then pour one cup of water into your pan to quickly get all those brown bits up off the bottom of your pan. And we will add all of this into our slow cooker with our beef. Don't wanna leave any of that good flavor behind. So that's all the pre-cooking we need to do. Now we're just going to add into our slow cooker about five carrots, which we've chopped into one inch chunks. A pound and a half of potatoes, also cut up into approximately one inch chunks. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. A heaping teaspoon of beef bouillon. A heaping teaspoon of chicken bouillon one quarter cup of soy sauce, and two more cups of water. Now we'll give this just a gentle stir just to try to get some of those paste mixed down in there into the liquid. And now we just cover this up and let the slow cooker do its magic. We'll cook this on a high heat for about four hours. After four hours, we are going to add our final ingredient. We are using one cup of frozen peas. We're going to add those in there and give it a quick stir. And at this point, you can really see how much broth your stew has. If you like it chunky, you can leave it as is. Or we like a little bit more broth, so I'm going to add an additional two cups of water to ours. And we'll give that a stir around. And we'll pop the lid back on and let this continue cooking on high for about 30 more minutes. Okay, the time has come. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that looks good. Our meat and veggies are all nice and tender, but they still have some great texture left to them. We haven't overcooked them to where they're all just mush. To me, the perfect stew texture is where you can cut everything with a spoon, but they still have some bite to them as well. All right, time for us to dish this up. 
dinner is served. This recipe was so easy and it's a crowd pleaser. So that to me is the perfect dinner. And that is it for our hearty slow cooker beef stew. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and decide to try it out in your house. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to receive notifications on our next video. Enjoy your dinner!